the key word is coming together in solidarity. Everyone come together. Artists need to create on the same scale that society has the capacity to destroy is a mission statement of my studio practice. At Metabolic Studio, we're looking at how we as artists can use our creative life to galvanize a paradigm shift that will change the relationship between art practice and consumer culture into art practice helping to give back to Mother Earth all that we've taken for many, many years now. In order to think of ways to respond that are effective. That has stood for hundreds of years. I think the idea is really that art is a catalyst for change. And in that sense, it can bring together then practitioners and thinkers from different fields. The public program has been really important in creating that community with a bridge between the international and the local. We invited scientists, writers, artists, scholars. So the idea is to create through even just storytelling, sharing stories. The title of our program is 1001 Stories for Survival. This idea of of thinking together, being able to create this context for changing of paradigms, so changing a way of thinking and possibly in the way we live too. It's 1990 and Nelson Mandela is free and there's this guy with the microphone and he's yelling at me. Yes, I want to behave. Here on the street, suddenly I'm able to. Something is ringing through me particularly raunchy guitar solo. Also Poetry seems like a really effective way to open an exhibition because it's not telling the people who are there what to think and what is supposed to be important about it, but it's really just opening an emotional space. I have a funny con connection to this. Is that I'm a poet and I'm a performer. And often when you're performing, you're just saying these dumb words in my poem, and somehow it's like a mirror of people's minds, and you realize people are seeing things they already know, and they think it's my words, it's not my words. My words are a mirror, that, and, and, and it's just re reflecting the wisdom that is already in their mind. Life is lots of presence, and every single day, you get a big bunch of gifts under a sparkling pine tree hung with countless balls of colored lights, piles of presents wrapped in fancy paper. Sbottò dalla camicetta la poesia, breve cruciare foglia per foglia tra le dita dei rami, Muove nuovo dall'ultimo spavento, un uragano di tenerezza che esplode, si intrufola, espande, abbatte, aglieta. Anyone who wants to become an artist should contact us. Anyone who wants to be an artist, step forward. We can make use of everyone, everyone in their place. We have a place for everyone, each in their place. Anyone thinking of their future belongs in our midst. After days of delayed attacks, some nasty rumor ran, they put me up against the wall. Uncertainty 
could not but shape one who had fashioned my silence into a sort of reason. By means of sarcasm, of surgical, unrepressible wrath. Artists and poets tend to work in isolation. And Fong acts as a glue, in fact, as a, as a link. It's like a viral a phenomenon, which is exactly what we need to oppose the wall that is in front of us. If you were a Bohemian artist, if you were part of that community, uh, there's no separation, there's no clear demarcation that would separate the artist from the philosopher or the philosopher from the poet. Everyone seemed to belong to part of that community. They share idea, they can get excited. Just because you're a painter, that doesn't mean you wouldn't feel excited hearing a song. We're so thrilled to be in Venice because Venice was a big center of building of these instruments and also the center of a publishing business for 16th century music. And to be able to play in a space that was that existed when the music was written is just very exciting. On the surface, it seems like the rail just does one thing, but there's a lot more. There's the curatorial project, our special issues like the river rail. We are always doing special things for friends. It's an interesting mix of rigorous routine and absolute spontaneity. I think it's actually interesting to see broken rail as a kind of physical thing rather than as a textual thing, right? So you have like performance, you have poetry, you have works of art. So all of us been separating for so long. And that's the idea of our collateral project. How can we bring the community of different field of discipline together? Once we were separate, now we must bring them all into one unity. Because together, collectively, uh, we be able to speak louder of our intention. Yannis Cunellis. Ora Piero Manzoni. Sicuramente l'arte è una sorta di veicolo, diciamo, che aiuta poi le, le persone a pensare diversamente e arrivare anche in altri luoghi eh, mentali soprattutto e a nuove dimensioni. Spino Pascali. The artwork needs to do its work, right, in the world to bring a common spirit to all of us, which is the net of culture. Everybody needs to feel free to participate in this kind of action, this call to arms of the creative community. The people who live here made this tree and so we're adding the love letters to Venice from Los Angeles artists.
6 del pomeriggio con il sole abbattente, l'abbiamo vista alle 3 del pomeriggio col buio, la pioggia, fa un po' cattedrale di Rouen, no? I think the exhibition also articulated a dialogue between spaces of different nature and different atmosphere. So the space inside the 18th century church per se was more inviting uh, contemplation, meditation. And then going through the senior citizen center, you would enter into the social environment space where we had a more jazzy feeling in a way. to create a work offering based on my thinking of André Preton. Uh, his own war would have objects from North America, it would have pre-Columbian masks and other object related objects, found objects too, you know. And then it's all mixed with paintings and sculpture by his friends. Uh, when I wanted to do the war offering, I really thought of Jonas Makers. So I know that Jonas would have liked to participate. So I thought of having Jonas create basically a neon to vanish with love. The projects that we do, they always have a related set of programming or something that engages the show itself with the community of people. The social environment here in this show is a reflection of, of how the rail operates. Everything that we do from the various levels of production assistance, copy editing things, to lunches that we have with each other where we get to know each other and get to know other people better, to the, the art writing process, the art exhibiting process, everything in that is, is part of the process of, of the work of art. It's that idea of a living organism that is quite simple, really. It's just exactly what we do every day. We call it art. <laughs> bellissimo vedere proprio tutto quello che c'è dietro la produzione di una rivista e quindi c'è il mondo di organizzazione, di cura, di testi, di cura delle immagini. Ho pure dato una grandissima possibilità di pubblicare il nostro articolo che stiamo facendo come lavoro di gruppo. Abbiamo potuto mettere le mani in pasta proprio nel lavoro del Brooklyn Rail e quindi siamo state anche ispirate a fare ricerca su degli artisti locali. Ti senti veramente ciascuno come un valore aggiunto a quello, che, a quello per cui tu stai lavorando, ecco. I think one of the most beautiful aspect of the exhibition and then the program that we conceived as a key element to the project is that it's really the result of a collaborative project. So there's a really a dimension of a collective endeavor that is at the heart of what we've created in Venice and with the hope that this is a beginning. So a platform from which we can continue to build on the issues of environmental uh, crisis and climate change. Coming from my background, I'm, I'm just, it's natural to be an activist. I mean, this is who I am. I can't change that. I can't go and make something that isn't about what's happening. Collectively, we are shouting about the environment. All my work starts with research and being out in the field and working with scientists and philosophers and even poets. And one of the things that I've been able to surmise over the years is that when we talk about the ecological crisis, 
at the end of the day, it's all about extinction. But we're not here to make it alarming. We're here to amplify, enhancing the condition of sea rising through poetry, through art, through music, through sharing our concern among the artists and the scientists. We want to bring that available, accessible, and hopefully we can replicate more of that every time that we undertake a curatorial project. And the idea is that with together, the community that we hopefully bring together, we can make some changes. And we need to do that right now more than ever. Okay, uh, just one more poem. This is called Relationship. In order to save the relationship, we will never see each other again. <laughs>